You know, when when I when everything happened with me and Connor, it was uh, you know only his friends and his team were allowed in the gym. So you know now everybody started to uh, uh, kind of back up his version of events. You know his lie and 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 his version of events. So I said, you know what? Looks like it's a beef with the whole team. Then you know if you're going to all put out this lie, and obviously you're 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 under strict orders to repeat whatever Connor says. Otherwise, you know maybe you'll, maybe you're not in the maybe they're not in the circle of trust anymore if they don't repeat what Connor says. You know, so uh, so I said, you know what? Then this is going to be a beef with the whole team. You know. Um, what really made me smile, though, was after I smacked the shit out of his boy, Artem, a couple weeks ago. Connor was so mad that he just started putting out a bunch of pictures. Uh, and most of the pictures, the shots weren't even landing cleanly. But I thought to myself, he's dying. He wished he had all 36 minutes of beating my ass, so he would he would release it right now. He put out 20 pictures, most of them not even landing a punch cleanly. He was dying to, to see what he could put out just to, like, spite me, you know? And all he could put out was that. And I started laughing because I said, this pussy wishes he had a full video to be able to release right now if he had the full video of kicking my ass right now it was a moment he would release it but he couldn't he, and it must eat him inside that he doesn't have that it must eat him inside that the way I beat up on him and talked to him that day that to this day he can't get over it and and for me you know what's, what's gonna eat him inside more is when I put his boy in the hospital and he's gonna be able to do nothing about it that's gonna be more satisfying but why did you slap him like what did he tell you in that exchange you know, you know we're at Bensonhurst right now uh, um, Helen you know and, and in Bensonhurst it was like a, a, a thing you know back in the day you know like you know, obviously, it was a, a very big Italian American culture here, and the Italian American culture it was uh, you know it was a little bit rough around the edges. Uh, we were a little bit rough around the edges ourselves. But one thing that was always a very disrespectful thing when you're talking one man grown talking to another, if, if you smack the man, it was a very disrespectful thing because you bring out the bitch in him. You know, so I didn't really go there with the intention of disrespecting or, or doing anything because you know I I thought that I felt like um, I felt like. Um, you know, if I do hit this guy, then, you know, the, the promotion might get messed up, you know, uh, for his fight with Knight. And then, I, you know, I don't want to mess up it up for Dave Feldman, who's treating me very good, you know. So when we got face to face, he started coming out of pocket. He started talking a little too much. And, and I just felt like, you know what? I got to smack this bitch and put him in his place. You know, like, you know, like sometimes it, it wasn't like a, a hard slap. I didn't want to slap him hard. I didn't want to. It was just one of those like, boom. Oh, don't come out of line. You know, like when you're talking to your kid, like, boom. Don't come out of line, dude. You know, you don't, you know better. So I, I gave him like one of those, you know better smacks. Like, boom, you know better. Don't, 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 don't say that, you know? Because, you know, I felt like he was getting a little threatening and I, I had to remind him, like, you know, that uh, he's not the guy that's supposed to make the threats. He's the victim here, not, 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 not the bully, you know? And uh, he was trying to come out of pocket and feel make like he was the bully. So, you know, I kind of had to put him in his place and remind him. And uh, on June 22nd, I'll do the rest. Let's go, Chuck. A long time I follow him. He have very good background. He have good good ground game, not bad. He have good striking game. You know, <clears throat> I follow him a long time. And uh, like versus me, I think I have to mow him, like I do with everybody. This is what I have to do. You know, I respect him like fighter, like uh, human, like you know, and. Uh, but when we go to the cage, I have to mold this guy. This is what I want. And this is, right now I'm focused on September and uh, five months before fight. And I think it's gonna be a very good fight with him. Hi guys, I'm awake. Um, I still feel very tired. Like I can barely open my eyes. But um, Thank you everybody for thinking about me, you know? I feel like I'm a very rich woman because I have a lot of time. Well, look what happened. I almost lost all my time. But, uh, to take time to wish somebody well, you know, what do we do with time? We make money, so time is more valuable than money.
so um thank you to everybody who took the time to wish me well I'm gonna make a full recovery the problem is just the anesthesia um uh the disc procedure and the cardiac stuff was, was better than they thought. So the surgery was great. It was just anesthesia. So, um, I'm going to get better and I'll be fighting again soon. Nothing will stop me, man. And, um, Combate Americas has been so good to me. Thank you. Some huge stresses in my life has been from being injured in fight. Well, I was originally uh, scheduled to fight Alexander Volkov. The fight did not happen tonight, but I'm very open to that fight in the future.